Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to another Curtis's Corner. If you are new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner. And on today's video, we are doing an unboxing. So I did get my boxy charm in the mail. And I opened it. I already looked at all the items. But we're just going to do another reopening of all of these items. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit about them. How much the boxes are. The base box, which is what I got, is $25 American. I, it's about $40 Canadian. I don't know what the translation of these prices are. But we are in the month of May. And the theme is Flourish. So if you want to find out what I got in my BoxyCharm, then keep watching. So our first item that we have is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. That looks like this right here, okay? Um, I don't really know exactly what it is, but it says an instant eye lift in a tube. Sheer liquid brighteners let your skin come through to deliver a natural lip from within youthful glow. Diamond Complex delivers a soft focus finish, includes removable sponge for on-the-go blending. This retails for $27, so already you're this paid for your box and I still have four more items to go through. The only thing that's confusing is the description that it gives on the card is not the description that it gives on the side of the box here which says four ways to glow over shape tape concealer. I'm sure you can use it with any concealer. They're just advertising their own concealer, obviously. Uh, alone for no makeup magic, mixed with moisturizer or primer or on high points of the face, collarbones and decolletage. Um, so I'm guessing it's like a type of liquid highlighter. It's in the shade a light. So we will find out and I'm gonna I'm gonna use it as I think a highlighter today. So um, I also have what's the next item cab cosmetics day and night eyeshadow palette that looks like this uh, opening it up for you now so you can actually see it. This is the color palette. It's nice. It's very, very warm toned. I like the pops of color here and I like the dark deep purple over here as well but I, th I guess we're gonna do a nice warm neutral eye in this look but let's read about cab this palette has a new formula and new sustainable packaging with 18 highly pigmented shades to create looks for both day and night all in one product use the softer lighter shades to create your favorite daytime looks and play around with the bolder darker shades for a more intense nighttime look don't let that discourage you. If you want to wear a nice, dark, bold eye in the daytime, you have at it. You are your own person. Don't do whatever these cards tell you to do. We're just going to play around and mix and match some colors. That retails for $52. That's literally the price of buying two of these boxes. So, wonderful. The next item is the Lavish Essential Eye Collection. That looks like this. They're, they're cute. They're, yeah, they're cute. Uh, these retail for $30. I think $30 is all right for one, two, three, four, five brushes. I think that's okay. That's decent. Um, are they soft? How soft are they? Ooh, they're really soft. So, okay. And they're, I, I like the color scheme. I love the brightness of them. So let's see. The Essential Eye Collection contains five handcrafted vegan friendly brushes to create the most subtle or dramatic looks. Simple explanation. $30. Okay. The Tristique Refillable Brow Pencil and Gel. This super sleek two-in-one brow pencil is 100% refillable. Keep your forever case and refill your brow pencil and gel to your heart's content. From the materials to the packaging, everything was developed through a lens of sustainability, better for you and the planet. The brow pencil features a triangular shaped tip to define brows, while the flexible tinted gel on the other side grooms and sets. It's everything you need in a natural looking perfectly sculpted brows. This retails for $26. Now, this is how it is on the one end here, that's the shade, but this is in the shade Americano. And then if you look at the gel here, the gel I find is a little more warm toned. Like it looks like a coffee cream color. Whereas this looks definitely more cool tone for the pencil side, but we'll try it. I'm sure it'll be fine. The last item in the box is the Sophia and Mabel Hydrating Hybrid. Uh, this is a two-in-one lipstick balm. So this hydrating hybrid is a lipstick and a lip balm in one. It's packed with vitamin E to keep those lips silky smooth, but with the full coverage of a satin finish lipstick. Bring this baby with you anywhere you go and apply when you're in a need 
of a little extra moisture with a subtle pop of color. This retails for $15. This is what the shade looks like. So it comes in this clear little component and it's like a nice, simple nude shade. So I'm going to apply everything off camera that I'm not going to need and do the rest on camera. So when I come back, my base is all gonna be on aside from highlighter and uh, we'll continue on from there. So stay tuned. Okay, everything's on. I've clearly shaved. Somehow missed this. I'll fix that later. We're gonna do our highlight. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. Never used this before. Have no idea what it's going to be like. I like that it does come with a little sponge here. So that's wonderful, I guess. Okay, yeah, so you just apply it with this little doohickey and then blend it out with the sponge, I'm guessing. Um, it says that I can use it on the high points as a highlighter, so that's fun. I did not set here. I did set a little bit up my nose, but we're still gonna try it anyways and see if it lifts up anywhere else. But, so this is in the shade Alight, I believe it was called. Yeah, shade Alight. We'll just do four little dots there, and then let's, uh, let's blend this out. Is it? Well, kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's very, very subtle. I need more. I think that will do. Okay, let's try this now. I like to take it all the way up here, too. Do I like it with the sponge? I really don't. Let's see if I can blend it out better with my finger. Oh, yeah. That's much better blending with the finger. For sure doesn't really look like it's picking anything up for foundation so that's good and I like that it's like you can see it as soon as I turn so that's nice so I'm not going to blend it with the sponge do we like that I think we do all right let's add a little bit down the nose and maybe a little bit on our points here and then like right there this is it melds nicely, I will say. It melds really, really nice. It does not look like it's picking up any of the foundation or anything at all underneath that I've set. So that's really good. And I will say, my skin is looking extremely nice today. The creases in my forehead that are normally there are very low today. So that's really good as well. <gasps> my makeup is on point this video. Hell yeah, girl. Before we move on to eyes, we're gonna go on to the eyebrow. So this is the Tristique Brow Pencil and Brow Gel in Americano. So I'm hoping that this A is a match, B works for me. I mean, it seems fine. It seems like an okay match of color. I just never really know how to work with the triangle shape. It always can, kind of confuses me to be quite honest, but I mean, it is defined a lot more. Application wise of the crayon, it's okay. Let's try the little gel now, see what happens. This looks very warm toned though, so I don't know. And it is, it's very, very warm toned. That is, wow, that is like, red on camera. It's not that red in person, but it is definitely more of a coffee tone in this gel. How we have a, such a cool toned crayon and then such an extreme warm tone in the gel, I'm not entirely sure. But I mean, do you? Okay. Um, it's okay. I have another eyebrow pencil that, uh, two eyebrow products actually that I'm going to try that I'm hoping I'll like better than this. This is, it's okay. Not the greatest. I still prefer the Real Her brand, but it made my eyebrows way more warm toned, way more orange. So I'm going to be dipping now into the Cab Cosmetics palette. I'm going to test out the pigment in these and not prime my lid. 
because I like to test things out on unprimed lids sometimes to see if they are truly that pigmented. And I'm going to go in with the lavish brushes here. So very light. They feel okay. Super soft. There's no like numbers indicating which brush is which. So I'm just going to take the lavish fluffy brush. We're going to dip into Gorgia Peach, which is this shade right down here. That's going to go up into the crease. It's coming off super pigmented. So we will what this does. Like I said, super, super soft. Pigment wise, I don't really know. I mean, it is a lighter shade. Can you see it on here? A little. Second layer is showing up a bit more. So that's a little more promising. But not exactly a winning palette so far. I have said before that I like a palette that you can build, but I also like a palette that you can just put on right away. But it's like taking, when I say build, I shouldn't have to add more than three layers. And it looks like I'm going to have to. I know this is on unprimed eyes, but that's how you can really, really tell if it's a good palette or not. If it can like be seen on unprimed eyes, which is why I want to do it like this. Because I know not every single person primes. So that's my fourth coat there. And now we're finally at like a Lunar Beauty and Jeffree Star quality from four coats. On this fluffy angled brush here, I'm going to be dipping into, I think the shade, let's do Coco. We'll do a little cool eyed moment because my brows are so warm. So we're gonna dip into Coco here. And this is gonna be focused on the uh, outer portion of the lid. Just like that. That is a good pigmentation. So we're just gonna do that and just kind of run it right in here like that. Whatever's left off of the brush after packing it on, we're just gonna run it right into the deepest part of the crease just to add that extra bit of dimension. Oh, do you see that? It like wiped it away. What? Okay. And the more that I blended this out, the less it looked nice. I don't know. Going back in with Georgia Peach to blend it all together here, but it's kind of bad. Not gonna lie. Kind of, kind of bad. There's a definite, there's a definite separation. You can clearly see that. That's not good. That is not what you want a palette to do. I mean, because I have hooded eyes, you're not really gonna see it, but like anyone with normal eyes, that's not good. On this flat packer brush, I'm going to go in with the shade. I don't really know. I don't really like any of the shimmers to be completely honest with you. Okay, so we're going in with the shade Dusk which is the one right up, right here. Going with that shade. Dry brush, as always, I always like to test them. Not the best, not the worst, but not the best. With a small angled brush, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of warmth with Dawn here right in the middle. And that's going to go on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to smoke it out with cocoa, which is the same shade that's on the outer portion of the lid. Hinner corner and eyebrow. Highlight, I'm going to go in with Starlight. This is a very rough brush. Don't approve of it. I get, it hurts. 100% it hurts. 
with an okay shade. This brush though, brush hurts. Okay. This palette is a no for me. I'm going to finish off the eyes off camera and I will be back to review the little lips. Stay tuned. Okay, everything is all on. Lashes are done. A little cute stamparoo, cause yes, these wings were giving me atrociousness. Okay, they're as best as I can get. They're pretty similar. The eyeshadow is not similar. We're just gonna move on with our day. Okay, our last product to try for a recap. Highlighter, pretty decent if you want that natural look. Palette, not having it. The brow pencil, pen, ink, gel, uh, no. These brushes, ma'am, no thank you. Okay, Hydrating Hybrid, Sophia and Maybell. In the shade Topless. This is the component, it's very inexpensive. This is the shade, so it's definitely going to go with this look. So let's see here. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. It's a balm and a lipstick put together, so. Extremely sheer, which I expected. I don't like that it's curved. It's weird. Very smooth though. I mean, the color's not terrible. It is giving me not pleasant inside, like butthole lips. Like you're getting the, that's not good. Um, But application wise, it's fine. Transfer, does transfer, but it's okay for what it does. All right, out of the whole box, this I think would be my favorite. I, mm, no, both of these. These are my two favorites out of the whole box. That palette, no thank you, man. Okay, if you did, however, enjoy how this look turned out, be sure to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out weekly videos and hit that notification bell so you know when I post a brand new video because if you don't, how else will you know when I put out a new video? You won't, so do it. It feels good to be back in the YouTube game. I'm hoping to be doing some movie reviews in the near future because there's a lot that are coming out. So it won't be for the release day, unfortunately, because theaters aren't open. Therefore, I can't actually go and see the movie on the Thursday before it comes out on the Friday. However, it will be out the following Friday. I will see all of you beautiful people on the next video, but until then, bye friendships. We're gonna wait for the people upstairs to stop making noise. The slooper, slooper, ew. Get out, get out. Not even the same shape. It's so patchy. Okay, so these are the four shades I've picked. What's gonna look best? Too bright, too purple, too gold. This one might be the only one that's kind of good. Did I just see something crawling and floating? Or is it just my eyes? I think it's just my eyes.